Hey there, Royal Watchers. It's your boy, Ben here, the famous critic, as they say. Back at it with another piping hot take that'll make your grandma's El Grey look like tap water. So gather round, my fellow gluttons, because I've got a story that's juicier than a perfectly ripe peach. And more dramatic than a Shakespearean play on steroids. We're talking about none other than our favourite Ginger Prince Harry and his apparent cry for help from across the prawn. Now I know you guys are thinking, Ben, haven't we had enough about this? Well, my friend, just when you think the Royal Soap Opera can't get any more twisted, it goes and proves us all wrong. It's like the gift that keeps on giving instead of presents or getting scandal after scandal here, guys. Now I know you're excited to jump in to the Royal News today, but before we get into that, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next on the channel. So Prince Harry, our once upon a time party boy turned woke warrior, is allegedly sending a secret SOS signal to his sister-in-law, Kate. Yes, the same Kate that Meghan made cry over dresses. The same Kate that Harry and Meghan have been throwing under the roll bus for years. Now, I don't know about you, but if I were Kate, I'd be laughing so hard I'd need a call to fan me. The audacity, the drama... The sheer unadulterated irony of it all is absolutely tasty, guys, but let's break it down, of course, shall we? Our sources are saying that Harry's caught between a rock and a hard place on one side. We've got Meghan, apparently the puppeteer extraordinaire, pulling the strings faster than a violinist on an espresso. And on the other side, we've got a gilded cage at the Montecito Mansion, where Harry's apparently feeling more trapped than a prince in an ivory tower. Poor Harry, right? Well, apparently... He wants to ship and shirk his duties faster than you can say roll exit. But now, if we're to believe these whispers that are happening, guys, Harry's having second thoughts. He's fed up with Meghan's spotlight hungry ways and her PR plots. Well, color me shocked and call me Susan. Who could have possibly seen it coming? Oh, wait, literally everyone with eyes and access to tabloids. Now, let's talk about this alleged phone call to Kate. Can you imagine that conversation? Hey, Kate, remember when I was trashing on international television? Yeah, can you bring out the nerve on this guy? Can't believe it, but here... Is where it gets interesting, folks. According to our sources, Megan's got Harry trapped tighter than a corset and a Victorian tea. Oh, 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 maybe she's threatening to release his embarrassing teenage entries. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but Ben, what if Harry really is in trouble? Shouldn't we be concerned? To which I say, absolutely, we should be very concerned, of course, about how the state of our own lives is. We're interested in this whole drama. But also, let's remember who we're talking about here. This is Prince Harry, a grown man who's made his choices and now has made a Californian king-size bed to lie in. But let's get back to Kate our dear Princess of Wales, who's been through the ringer lately with her health issues. And yet there she was at Wimbledon looking radiant, probably thinking she was having a nice day out watching tennis. Little did she know she was about to be dragged back into the Harry and Meghan show. Poor Kate can't catch a break, can she? She's likely the royal family's version of Jan Brady, always overshadowed by drama surrounding her siblings. And let's not forget the true victims in all of this, the British public. They've had to enjoy years of this royal roller coaster with more ups and downs than the London Eye. They've weathered Megxit, weathered the Oprah interview, weathered Harry's tell-all book, which, let's be honest, told us a lot of things we didn't really need to know. And now they are expected to believe that Harry wants to come back. It's like the prodigal son returns, except the prodigal son burnt all these bridges. But here's the real kicker. If Harry really is trying to escape this royal puppet life in the US, as our sources claim, what exactly does he think is going on? A ticker tape parade, a hero's welcome, more likely to be met with eye rolls than a teenager being asked to do chores. The British public's patient isn't just wearing thin, it's practically transparent. And what about Meghan, guys? If these rumours are true, and let's face it, in the world of royal gossip, true is a very flexible term. She comes off looking like a cartoon villain. Seriously, if she twirled a moustache and tied Harry on a railroad truck, I wouldn't be surprised. It's almost too over the top to be believable. Almost. But then again, this is the same couple who managed to turn a royal wedding into a Hollywood production complete with more celebrities than the Oscars red carpet. The same couple who claimed they wanted privacy and then proceeded to air their dirty laundry in a Netflix documentary. In conclusion, my dear YouTube followers, what we have here is an absolute royal mess. So what do you think about the news? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you next time.